Hey everybody, welcome back to Jermaine's Promo, and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new updated Samsung Game Launcher. Now the thing I love about the Game Launcher is that it's all in one place. You can learn and find, discover new games, you're able to look at information on games, and they're all sitting right here. Anything that you have downloaded is sitting in this little tray on the bottom, but you can also go through your settings and you can change how it looks. One of the nice things that they did add in is called Instant Games. These are little games that are already just sitting right here here that you're able to play. Once you tap on any of these, it loads it right away and there's no reason for you to install and download and everything else. It's a way that you're able to play a game. The only downside is that they do have quite a few ads on those games, but other than that, it is still pretty fun to kind of play something instantly. So let's just move over here on the very top left hand side. Let's take a look at the application uh, right over here. If you take a look again, it's on the top left hand side. This is your menu. Well, this is where you can go inside of the settings of Game Launcher. And really the only couple things you want to take a look at is you can erase your personal data because this is all being done and saved through your Samsung account. But you can turn on or off your marketing information. You can hide the playtime if you are embarrassed with how often you play a game. You can get this thing hidden. Uh, but this is another way that you can have your applications of the games that you've downloaded show on your phone. So right now I have it set up to where all the games I've downloaded is only in Game Launcher. If you want it to be all over your phone inside of Game Launcher, you want it inside of your home trays, if you want it inside of your app trays, you can do that, but it's a little messy. You might as well organize it and put it all into one spot. So that's all that that, that little uh, settings icon is for. Over here, you can take a look at your play history. And so um, within my play history, there's 39 games that they're taking a look at. Uh, it's putting in how many hours and minutes you've put into all of these games. And again, this is over time. This is as it's been being used with your Samsung account. Now, if you tap on this graph right there, it's gonna show you all of the games and then pretty much put them in order. If you see an icon right here, that means that it's downloaded onto your phone. And if you see any of these other games that is having this little icon here, that just means that if you go inside of details, you can get this game downloaded back onto your phone. So maybe this was something that was used on one of your previous devices. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you appreciate this video and you love tips and tricks about your Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button. YouTube is telling me that right now about 86% of you that's watching this video are not subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also tick that bell for the notifications. And then underneath that graph that we just got done tapping, you're able to take a look at an individual game. So when you tap on this game, you can open it up right from here. You can take a look at the, the daily game rankage. You can see how long you've played it uh, within this graph right over here going on back. Um, you can also be able to take a look at a video. You can see how it is doing inside of the Galaxy games itself. You can take a look you know, for the last seven days. So that, that means that there's been 1.7 million users playing this game and that was updated three days ago. And then also some other games here that is just recommending if you would like to play those. Over here, just talking about the favorite categories. Now, moving on down through this list over here, you can look at the Galaxy rankings. So if you want to take a look at the hot games, the main games that people download right now, and if you're just looking for something new, you'd be able to download any of these. You can also expand it on the top there. This one right over here is going to be the immersive games. Again, you can expand it if you'd like to have more than just these five options. Um, but it's a really cool place, again, to discover new games if that is what you're trying to look for. Now, if you have any type of notification from any other game, it's all going to be sitting right here. So if I had more games sitting there, I'd have a lot more notifications. Uh, but again, I really only play kind of two games on this phone. Now, game performance is a pretty big one right over here. This is where you're able to go through a lot of the different settings for the game booster settings. Uh, so you can turn on the Dolby Atmos for gaming. You also have the auto screen lock. So this way, if you're playing a game and then you set it down, how long does it take for just your screen to be locked? It doesn't turn off the phone. It just kind of locks the screen so you don't accidentally touch the phone when you're still trying to play a game. You also have the power saving while while locked uh, the full screen applications if you want to have some of your applications be full screen or not pop-up panel this is one of those things that you can tap it's gonna pull up these little four small icons you can open up whatever application you want so YouTube I did the phone call text messaging so if someone texts you as you're playing a game you're able to respond back pretty quick and then underneath that one is gonna be shortcuts so there's gonna be a shortcut on your phone and right now I have it set up for that screen touch lock so this way it's gonna lock the touch screen for me and then if I basically tap it and, and swipe it, I'm able to play again. So you can throw it in your pocket really quick so you're not going to interact or uh, uh, mess up your gameplay. You also have the option for screenshot if you want to take a lot of screenshots or you can bring up that pop-up panel. 
Now, this floating shortcut is also pretty nice. So this way you can have a baby, small little icon. Uh, we're gonna do that with the pop-up panel because I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Your screenshot resolution, you can change the resolution there. For game performance, you can put it on performance, balanced, or focus on power saving. So if you do need to play for some reason, but your battery is going down a little bit, you can put it on balanced or focus on power saving, but your gameplay is not gonna be that great. Uh, so this focus on performance is gonna make sure you have that smooth gameplay. Now let's move on back again. We're still up over here on the top left hand side. You have the Galaxy Labs right over here. So this is a way that you're able to get early access to the latest features. And this one right here just is, it's, I don't know why this isn't already a part of it, but better playtime calculator. So what's gonna happen is, I'll show you this in a second. When you're playing a game, it's gonna let you know how much longer you have to play the game at the current state of you know the gameplay uh you know the the type of game that you're playing what your battery percentage is and really that's everything on this top left hand side we pretty much covered everything there uh, if you go inside of the notices this is when you're going to notice that the new features have came out and, and talk about some of the new cool things but we're really covering everything here so that was everything on the top left now when you pull this up here this is your tray of the applications of the games that you have you can change your background color if you want this color to look a little different. So we're gonna put this one as blue. Uh, and then you also have this icon over here. You can add more applications here. Uh, you can also sort these games and you also have library settings. Uh, for library settings, this is what we're looking at here. This is basically your library. Do you want your icon size to be, to be normal, small? Uh, you also have this one over here. You can set location for new games. So anytime you download a brand new game, do you want them to be at the beginning? Like, do you want it to be on the very top? Uh, and then right here, it also says uh, how you're able to show the library and startup. So mine is on the bottom of the screen. You can have it expanded. So that means every time that you open up Game Launcher, your little library is already expanded. Uh, but I like to actually bring it on up because I might be looking around the application instead of really going into a specific app. So again, I'm going to put mine onto the bottom. Uh, and that's going to be some of these little settings on the top right hand side that you really need to know about. Uh, again, we talked a little bit about that instant games. And then this right here, you can simply toggle this and then now your, your audio of the gameplay is now muted. So if you're playing at night, someone is sleeping next to you, and you want to make sure that you don't have any audio before you open up a game, you can just simply tap this right here instead of going over to your volume rocker. So we pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover right here. This is gonna be some of your games right there that you have downloaded. You can take a look at some of the details. Uh, but since we covered everything, let's just go inside of a game. Uh, this small little pop-up, that's, that's that pop-up shortcut that we just got done talking about. And so this one was set up to where for this pop-up shortcut, it's gonna pull up that little panel of those four applications. And let's say someone texted me. So when I open this up, it's gonna bring it into a small screen. When you go inside of a message, it's gonna be, again, just this size. So this way you're not getting out of the application. You'd be able to go through, have your conversation, hit that little X when you're all done and finished, and you can go through and still play with the game. So let me show you something that you might miss when you do play games. If you're playing a game, pull down the notifications panel, and then you open up your game booster. The cool thing about the game booster is that your pop-up panel will pop up right here. If you have it turned off, then obviously this will not be sitting there. You'd be able to go back inside of your settings if you want to make any small changes. This is a way that you're able to open up your game plugins, and if you don't have it on your phone, this little icon here just means that you can get it installed right from here. Game game plugins is something I covered earlier in a, in a past video. It's actually really cool, uh, but I wanted to have it uninstalled for this video here just to let you know that once you don't have it, you can get it installed. And when you do have it, you can tap on this icon and it takes you into those settings. And then down here, you're just taking a look at how your battery life is doing. It's monitoring the temperature and as well as your memory uh, at this percentage point right here at 44% of what I have left. My game or my phone will last this long here. It slightly changes just a little bit. Um, and then on the bottom right over here, this is that little uh, shortcut that you have set up. So that shortcut that you chose, if you want it to be screenshot, then things will change. Uh, but I have it set up for that screen touch lock. So this way when I tap this, I'd be able to throw it right in my pocket. I'm not getting out of the application. Even though it turned black, it's not off. When you tap on the screen, you swipe it. Now you're able to play the game one more time. Uh, let's say we go right back inside of here. Um, the next thing is to kind of look at over in this one is that you can also block during game. So you can take a look at different things that you want to block. So do you want to block all of your notifications? You can turn that on. You can also block the full screen gestures. You can also block Bixby. You can even block your edge panel. So that little icon, that little 
the edge thing that's right over here now it's being blocked during this gameplay so if you play a game and you accidentally open it this is the place that you're able to really turn it off so really this was everything that i wanted to show you so you have the brand new game launcher and then this is also that game booster if you've never really interacted with it from before or maybe you've never noticed it before when you're playing games it is sitting there you have all these really cool tool tools that you're able to use but again take a look at your game launcher see if there's any updates you're able to do when mine updated all i did was i opened up game launcher the update was sitting there i hit update and then it did it all for me but again i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hand subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later